Compelling evidence of the mega tsunami that was generated by the Burkle Crater impact event exists along every major coastline in the Indian Ocean. This is a segment taken from the full video, which documents the damage, deposition, and evidence left over from this mega tsunami event, starting from Indonesia and going to Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Oman, Yemen, Somalia, Madagascar, and finally concluding in South Africa. The link to this can be found in the description below. This is part of a documentary series that also has full videos of the impact this mega tsunami caused to Australia and Antarctica. The links to these will also be found below. If you'd like to see an extended version of this episode made, please click the like button to let me know. I'd be more than happy to dig into this more in depth, if people are keen to see it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Part 3. Pakistan Pakistan really got smashed guys, I can't stress this enough. The damage here was so pronounced that it took me a while to actually accept what I was looking at. I mean, look at this. This mountain range is more or less the end point of the chevrons, and as we journey back towards the sea, we will see something truly astonishing. This place is so arid, I don't need a snow layer. Yes, these are chevrons, every one of them. They aren't erosion related, they aren't carved out drainage channels, these are chevrons, and as you can see, they end right here. Isn't this absolutely mind-blowing? As you can see, parts of it have larger sediment deposits than others, and this has to do with hydrodynamics, i.e. how sediment acts when it is suspended in water regarding when it drops out, kind of like how a river acts during a flood, and how the specific gravity of different sediments accumulate in different areas of the river. Along with this, part of it has to do with post-deposition erosion. Man, they are freaking everywhere. They're such a profound size, and as you can probably tell, they look very similar to the shapes that we saw in the most arid parts of Western Australia, and they are all directional. If this doesn't prove the fact that we had a mega tsunami occur in the very recent past, I don't know what will. As we journey inland a bit more, these shapes fade altogether, showing they aren't Aeolian in nature. Look how pronounced the deposition was where it landed here. Truly insane stuff. But what makes this even more insane is when we look at Pakistan from a bigger perspective. And doesn't this look familiar? This looks very much like what we saw in the Australian series, when we went over South Australia and Western Australia. What we are seeing here is the extent of the mega tsunami, before it finally lost power and receded. It's carved out the land. It's very obvious and amazing to see. These chevron shapes go further along Pakistan, but we're going to move on to the next incredible site. 